What's up, everybody? This is Tadpole Superhero, and today we are playing Mario Kart 8. There's a new pack of DLC dropping in May, and I've been doing a series of spotlight videos highlighting each of the tracks in this game, and I thought, you know what? Let's just do a Let's Play through the Grand Prix mode in time for the DLC to drop, and then when that drops, then we'll touch on those tracks as well. So we're going to jump into single player. We're just going to be doing, oh, excuse me, if I could talk, Grand Prix. We're going to go through 150 CC. As you can see, I do not have three stars and everything. I do have gold trophies, metal things on each of them. I haven't gotten three stars and everything. Uh, and I barely touched mirror mode. Anyway, let's do 150 CC. We're going to start. Uh, so each week, I'll just do one cup of Grand Prix. So these are going to be very short. Well, not very short, but they're going to be shorter videos. So we're going to play as Mario. And you know what? To start off, let's just do... Full standard, full standard setup, and we're going to do the Mushroom Cup. Let's jump into it. Let's play some Mario Kart. This has been just a fantastic game. This was actually the very first game I ever pre-ordered. Uh, and I was definitely not disappointed. It's a fantastic game. I would say the best Mario Kart in the series, although... I recognize for those that enjoy battle mode, it's a little bit lacking. Uh, but I'm I'm the person who basically never played battle mode, or you know when I did it was just sort of like whatever. I don't really care about battle mode, so I understand for those who do enjoy it, this was a bit of a disappointment for me. However, it is easily the best Mario Kart. I haven't played every single Mario Kart game, so I shouldn't I shouldn't uh, speak too soon. Oh, that was that was that wasn't too good. Yes! Oh, red shell. All right. So if you haven't watched my... Oh, that was that was not smart. If you haven't watched my Spotlight series, I've uh, done two of them so far. And if you've watched them... Well, let me, let me know. I can't even talk. I don't even know what I'm saying. But anyway, let me know what you think. Check them out because they kind of go more in depth on the tracks. Uh, talk about tips and tricks. Let you know all the shortcuts and... Also, some cool little visual Easter eggs and stuff that are in these levels. Nintendo really went all out in terms of making this just the most inter... Ah, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? And in making this just like the most stunning, stunning visually uh, Mario Kart game. As well as the, the music is just so fantastic. Oh, don't, don't do that to me. The music, the music's excellent. I don't know if you can hear I'm going to double check the sound balance after. <laughs> I forgot to do that before I started this. I'm going to double check the sound balance uh, after. After something. What am I talking about? After after I finish this race. Uh, gosh. Being able to talk would be so great, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be awesome to be able to talk? Okay. In terms of Mario Kart games I have played, uh, what have I played? I've played Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart 64. <laughs> so I know I'm not like the best person to say, oh, this is the best Mario Kart game ever. Because uh, I haven't played the original. I haven't played Double Dash, which makes me very sad. I've watched lots of gameplay videos of that, and it looks so much fun. I haven't watched it. Oh, Blue Shell. Okay. I haven't uh, played the original, I haven't played Double Dash, and I haven't played Mario Kart Wii. And the only handheld Mario Kart game I've played is 7, which was really good. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's, oh, that's not what you want. How am I still in first? Okay. There we go. There's some balance to the world. Wow. That's really funny. I can't believe I came in second. I did not do well on that race. <laughs> Talking while racing is a, it's a whole new world. Okay, uh, so I haven't played like Super Circuit or Mario Kart DS. So I haven't played the handheld Mario Kart games except for seven. I really want to play Super Circuit. Uh, DS, eh, it looks interesting, but I don't know. I'm not that excited about it. Um, I do want to play Double Dash. Uh, I don't really care about Wii just because it's... I mean, it's, it's close enough to 8, and 8 just improves on what we, what Mario Kart Wii did, so I don't really care. I do want to play Double Dash and Super Circuit, the Game Boy Advance one. 
But I, I mean, you don't need to play every Mario Kart game to know that this is a really good Mario Kart game. Uh, as for, I mean, part of the reason I didn't really get into Mario Kart is because my kart racer as a kid was Diddy Kong Racing. That game is amazing. Uh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. If you haven't played it before, you should definitely, definitely try and find a copy of it. It is so fun. It's a great single player kart racer, which you don't find a lot of that. Like in general, like I, I can play single player on Mario Kart 8 for forever, like for hours at a time. Uh, but in general, Mario, you know, kart racers are multiplayer games and they thrive in multiplayer. Diddy Kong Racing, I mean, it's a great multiplayer experience, but single player is just as good, easily. Easily as good. Uh, if not, if not even better, because it has all this adventure mode, it has bosses that you, like giant dinosaur bosses you can race against. Well, they're not all dinosaurs. There's a dragon, there's a walrus. I love the walrus, he's my favorite. Oh, we got a shortcut here, because I've got a mushroom. Cool. This game and 7 are both very drift heavy. I don't know if Wii was like that, uh, but the drifting is a big deal in Mario Kart 7 and 8. Wow, that was that was pathetic. I should have gotten an item there. What am I doing? Okay. So this is not an informational let's play. It's just me racing. Uh, <laughs> if you want more information, check out the spotlight videos that I've been doing. Those have been really fun. Uh, they've been testing. I'm not a very, I'm not very good at video editing and such things. I don't know a lot about it. Uh, so those have been a great way of sort of testing myself and learning more about video editing and things of that nature. It's been a lot of fun putting putting that together. Oh, that didn't work out so well. Okay, second place again. This is. <laughs> <laughs> this is not not what I was hoping for. I'm tied with Daisy and right behind Bowser. Okay. So now we're going to play Sweet Sweet Canyon, which this stage is a pretty sweet stage. <laughs> that was completely unintentional. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, the puns are finding me now. But uh, th this is a really cool stage, but it just kind of... This was the first stage that I got tired of. This was the first racetrack that I got kind of tired of in this game. And pretty much most of the racetracks here I still, f like, really enjoy. Uh, Sweet Sweet Canyon. I still... I mean, I still enjoy it. It's a good time. It's just... Sort of... Meh. It's average. Average at best. Bowser, do not hit me with banana, please. I do not want banana peels. Look at him. Look at him making all that mayhem with his with the candy corn. Oh, I was gonna check the sound balance after the first track. I hope the sound balance is good. I hope my voice isn't, you know, too loud or too quiet, or the game isn't too loud or too quiet. Ugh. Alright. I'm gonna try to remember. I've got two more laps to forget, but I'm gonna try to remember. Oh dear, all right. No, don't touch me. Okay. <laughs> this is a cool track though. I love I love the uh, the visuals of this track. Just, I mean, you've got like a multi-layer cake with a soda fountain. Uh, I think technically we're actually driving under, not underwater, we're underwater under soda, which would get very sticky. Whatever, there's like, lollipops and candy canes and stuff windmills with uh, those vanilla wafer type things those cream wafer things that are delicious ice cream ice cream cone trees that that's something I did not notice before so I'm one of those first place guys who likes to just throw items behind me I don't trail items very often I know it's like more defensive and you can protect yourself but it's boring. I want. I, I'm. I'm aggressive in Mario Kart. I want to hit people. I don't want to sit here and just like bide my time trailing a green shell. I want to try and nail somebody with it. Of course, I throw them behind me without actually aiming or anything. But hey, it's better than 
better than nothing, maybe. Plus green shells bounce around. I've had them bounce back and hit me, which is really fun. Okay, we're going to check the sound balance. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see what's going on. How does it sound? Okay. Because I, I usually have the sound muted when I'm recording because there's a delay. So, let's see. Yeah, this is really weird because I'm talking and I can hear myself. Okay, it sounds like it's pretty good. That's a relief. Okay. Mm, Thwomp Ruins. This track is so great. Oh, this is one of the tracks that got tons of praise and attention when this game was, when the marketing for this game was going on, and it so deserved it. This is one of the best, this is still one of the best tracks in the game. I love it. Final race, no, say it ain't so. I don't want to finish. I don't want to end my racing career. All right, so we got the super horn, which means if somebody throws a blue shell my way, I can wreck them. I can laugh in their face as their blue shell, blue shale, their blue shale. Go watch out for them blue shales. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting all country. I'm getting all hick on you guys. We're in Hicksville. We are racing through Hicksville, and it is just a really good time. I, I gotta tell you. It's just a really good time, and I like racing through Hicksville with thwomps all around. I don't know what they're doing here, but they're pr they're pretty cool. They they smash down and they they cause miniature earthquakes with which actually works really well for helping us to till our fields, and it it makes for uh, some great entertainment for the children, so they don't get in our way when we're trying to do some work. I think that's enough of that. What do you guys think? Okay. Let's go this way. I want to take multiple different paths as I'm racing through here. It's a fun part. Oh, but we can sneak by him on the edge. I like to bail out early so you can hit that jump boost right there. It's not really the best idea to go through the water. But you can bail out at the end of that section and get a nice little jump boost, which is cool. So we're going to smash you, knock you out of the sky. Wahaha. Oh, there was, that was a shell I could have hit. Oh, that was not. Oh. What a bummer. The problem, the, the only downside to being in first place <laughs> is that you don't get, like, mushrooms and stuff, so you don't get to take a lot of shortcuts very often. And I like me some shortcuts. Excuse me, Mr. Cog, rolling cog. I would like to take this gliding pad. Thank you very much. Now that, that is a short, short, and blah, 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 blah. It's a shortcut right there. Oh, I'm going to get beamed. Beamed by a red shell. Bowser. Bowser. Get back here. Get back here, you little crazy pants. Dang it. All right. First is the worst. Second is the best. Remember that little rhyme from, like, grade school? I don't know why it was second is the best. I don't know why that was the thing. First is the worst. Because first and worst rhyme, but second and best. Those do not rhyme. But it also ended with third is the one with a hairy chest. So they finished off the rhyme. I have no idea. I don't know who invented that little rhyme. <laughs> but it's really juvenile and silly. Okay, so we came in. We got our little little highlights. What Do we come in first overall? We did it! We got our gold trophy! Alright. So that's it for this week. Every single Friday, I'm going to be playing through Mario Kart 8 and doing a single Grand Prix. Next week, we're going to take on the Flower Cup and race, race some people. It's going to be fun. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.